Lizzie and Rolly too Lofty and Wendy join the crew Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together they get the job done Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can!
Lizzy and Roly too Lofty and Wendy join the crew Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together they get the job done Bob the Builder can we fix it? Bob the Builder yes we can Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder can we fix it? Bob the Builder yes we can There! All done! So we're we going home now, Bob! We certainly are, Roly! Don't forget Wendy and her sister are back from their skiing holiday tonight. Scoop's picking them up from the airport right now! Oh, brilliant! Oh, I've really missed Wendy! Me too, Dizzy! Oh, I, I mean, I hope she had a good holiday. Oh, come on, Bob! Let's go home! All right, Dizzy! You lead the way! Thanks a lot, Scoop. Hello, Wendy! Ah! <laughs> Hello, Dizzy. Did you have a good time? Oh, we had a great time. Skiing is really good fun. Yeah, you should give it a try, Bob. Oh, I don't know about that, Jenny. It looks a bit tricky. Bet you'd learn really quickly. <laughs> yes. Well, it's getting late, and I'm sure you two are tired. We are. It's fun to travel, but there's no place like home. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Good night, Good night Wendy. Good night, 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 Jenny. Night. Right then, Scruffy. I'm off to bed too. Oh, I knew I'd forgotten something. I meant to get Bob to check that roof. Ah, well. It's too late to do anything tonight. Good night, Scruffy. And make sure you snuggle up in your blanket. It's getting cold. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob. Mr Bentley here. Oh, we've got a problem. There's a snow drift blocking the road near the old bridge. Could you clear the snow and grit the road? No problem, Mr Bentley. Thanks, Bob. I knew I could rely on you. Oh, isn't it lovely, Jenny? Oh, it's great wind. But I've just heard that all the buses are being cancelled. Might have to stay another night. That's no problem. Hey, with all this snow, maybe we'll be able to get Bob on his skis after all. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Got your escape. You wait, Mark. I'll get you back. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Bob. I meant to get Mark. Yes, well, that's enough fun and games for now, Scoop. We've got an urgent job for Mr Bentley. Mock, you load up with grit while I fix Scoop's snowplow. Right then. What are we going to do today, Wend? Building something? Knocking something down? I could help you. Well, I have a lot of paperwork to catch up with. You could help me with that if you like. Oh, paperwork. Right. Great. Hi, Bob. Oh, Bob. What on earth are you doing with those tennis rackets on your feet? They're supposed to be snowshoes, Jenny. Like the Eskimos wear. See? Um, what are Eskimos, Bob? They're people who live near the North Pole, Dizzy, where there's lots of snow. So why do they wear tennis rackets on their feet? They don't, Lofty. They wear snowshoes to stop their feet sinking into the snow. But I haven't got any, so I've used these old tennis rackets instead. Oh, I see. I think. Do you know, Bob, I still think you should try skis. You'd get round a lot quicker. Oh, no, Jenny. These'll do just fine. Right then, team. We'd better be off. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! <laughs> oh, dear, Scruffy. All that snow's made the roof worse. I'd better call Bob right away. <laughs> Hello, Bob's Building Yard. Oh, hello, Farmer Pickles. I see. Well, Bob's clearing a road at the moment, but I could have a look at it if you like. 
Okay, I'll be over as soon as I can. Bye. Right, I've got to get to Farmer Pickles, Jenny. Oh, I wish Scoot was here with his snowplow. Snowplow? You don't need a snowplow. I've got a much better idea. <laughs> Right then, Scoop. You push the snow out of the way. No prob, Bob. Muck, the road's going to be really slippery, so we'll need to put down plenty of grit. OK, Bob. Hmm. It looks as if the battens need replacing. Battens? What are they? They're the special bits of wood that hold the roof slates up. Now, let's see. Who will we need to do the job? There we are. All snow precipitation removed and vehicular access restored. Well done, Bob. See you later. Bye, Mr Bentley. <whistles> hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hello, Wendy. Battens? Yes, there are some back at the yard. Right. I'll bring Lofty too. OK. See you soon. Bob's on his way. Oh, good. Well, no point in standing round in the cold. Let's go inside and I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Hello. What's this, then? Skis. <laughs> I've always wanted to have a go at skiing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Spud. Are you all right? What happened? Oh, oh, sorry, Farmer Pickles. It was an accident. Well, as long as you're OK. You've made a real mess of Scruffy's kennel, though. <coughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, look. Here comes Eskimo Bob. Shush, Jenny. He'll hear you. What's going on here, then? Well, we've got another problem now, Bob. Spud's wrecked Scruffy's kennel. Oh, dear. I haven't brought the right materials for a kennel. <laughs> Poor Scruffy. Hang about, Wendy. Talking of Eskimos, I've got a brilliant idea. You and Bob fix the roof and leave Scruffy's kennel to me. Great job, Bob. It looks as good as new. Yoo-hoo! Hey, you lot! Shh. Come and see what we've made! What do you think to that, then? Oh, Jenny! You've built Scruffy an igloo! Wow! It's great! What's an igloo, Wendy? It's a special house that Eskimos live in, Muck. They build them out of blocks of snow. Yeah, they're really warm inside. Come on, Scruffy. <laughs> oh, he loves it. Oh, yes, yeah. Pity it'll melt away when the weather changes. Don't worry, Farmer Pickles. We'll build him a new kennel by then. <laughs> OK, everybody, let's head for home. Hey, Bob, why don't you borrow Wendy's skis and ski home with me? Oh, I don't know about that, Jenny. I mean... How will Wendy get back? No prob, Bob. I can give Wendy a lift. Oh, right. Well, OK then. Oh, this is fun! I wish I'd tried it before. OK, Lofty, you can let go now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.
Andy join the crew Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together they get the job done Bob the Builder can we fix it? Bob the Builder yes we can Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder can we What's all this wood for, Wendy? We're going to build some decking, Scoop. Yippee! Oh, like the deck of a ship. <laughs> Almost, Dizzy. But we're going to build it in Mr Beasley's garden. It's a big job, so I'll need you, Rolly and Lofty to help me. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. I like to rock! I like to rock! Morning, everyone. Hey, look out, Rolling. You? <laughs> oh, that was close. You almost rock and rolled over Bob's steel box. Oh, uh, sorry, Bob. I was singing my new song and I wasn't looking where I was going. No harm done, Rolly. I'm going to fit a new kitchen for Mr Fothergill, the computer repairman, today. You can drop me off on your way to Mr Beasley's, Rolly. Oh, OK, Bob. Thanks, Rolly. We'll pick you up on our way home, Bob. OK, Wendy. Bye, Bob. Have a good day yeah, now. See you later, Bob. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bob. Morning, Bob. Morning, Mr Fothergill. Has your new kitchen been delivered? Oh, yes. Uh, do you want to come and see? Lead the way. Oh, uh, could you wipe your feet before you come in, Bob? It's my allergies, you know. I have to be very careful. Oh, um, yes, of course. Here's the new kitchen, Bob. <laughs> I'm afraid it's all in bits and pieces. That's no problem, Mr. Fothergill. Oh, it's a pretty parrot. Oh, <laughs> and who's this? Oh, this is Amish, <laughs> my parrot. <laughs> parrot? Parrot? Oh, I've never met a talking parrot before. Parrot before? Oh, yes. He never stops. I think I might be allergic to parrots. Or maybe it's carrots. Right. Um, I'd better get on and take out this old kitchen. I'll leave you to it, Bob. Now, let's see. Savannah? Ear protectors. Ah, my screwdriver. Screwdriver. Oh, hello, Wendy. Uh, have you come to build the decking? That's right, Mr Beasley. Now, where do you want it? Uh, just over there in the shade of that tree. It'd be nice. Oh, 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 my screwdriver. Oh, oh, it's all right, Lofty. They're squirrels. They've got a nest up in me tree. Hello, little squirrels. Oh, I think they like you, Rolly. Do you want to hear my new song? I like to rock. I like to rock. Rolly, watch out for Mr Beasley's watering can. Uh, oh, oh dear. You've squashed it flat as a pancake. Oh, no. Um, I'm sorry, Mr Beasley. Don't worry, Rolly. Sorry, Mr Beasley. I'm sure we've got a spare watering can back at the yard that you can have. Oh, that's very kind, Wendy. That's the old kitchen cleared. Now to put the new one together. Screw the top of side A to the bottom of unit B. Mom! Oh, was that Mr Fothergill? Hello? Mr Fothergill! Did you call me? What was that, Bob? Did you just call my name, Mr Fothergill? No, Bob. I, I was in the front room working on my computer. Oh, that's strange. I'm sure someone called me. I'll get back to these kitchen units, Mr Fothergill. And I'll get back to my computer, Bob. Fix handle C to the front of drawer B. <laughs> Right, Mr Beasley. We'll get to work on your decking. Jolly good, Wendy. <laughs> oh, I could give you a hand. Ah, um, oh, maybe you could make me a cup of tea. Oh, I haven't got any milk in. I'll tell you what, I'll just nip to the shops and get some. <laughs> See you later. Right, team. Let's get this finished before Mr Beasley gets back to help us. Rolly? Could you roll the ground flat? See you later, squirrels. Um, I've got work to do. All right, let's rock and roll! Watch the tree, Rolly! Oh, no! Oh, no! I've knocked the 
squirrel's nest out of the tree. I'm so clumsy. Don't worry, Rolly. I brought some extra wood along. And I think I know how we can fix things. Hello, Bob the Builder. That's funny. There's nobody there. <laughs> oh, not again. Bob! Oh, uh, coming, Mr. Fothergill. Bob! Coming! Uh, hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob the Builder. Just a minute. Something funny's going on here. Bob! Something funny's going on here. Hey, Miss! It's you! You've been tricking me all morning. Tricking me all morning. Tricking me all morning. I'm never going to finish Mr. Fothergill's kitchen with Hamish disturbing me. I know what this job needs. My ear protectors. There! I can't hear a thing. I'll have this kitchen fitted in no time now. What have you made, Wendy? It's a new home for the squirrels, Dizzy. Oh, brilliant! Can you lift it into the hole I've dug, Lofty? Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll need some cement, Dizzy. Coming right up, Wendy! Now, could you roll the cement down flat around the pole, Rolly? Huh? Yeah, of course I can. Good job, Rolly. See? You're not always clumsy. Oh! Um, I think the squirrels like their new house. Now, let's get that decking finished. Uh, how's it going, Bob? Hello, Mr Fothergill. All finished now. There's no need to shout. I think you'd better take these off. Oh, Sorry, Mr. Fothergill. I couldn't hear myself talking. Oh, you've done a great job, Bob. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, I think I might be allergic to pine. Oh, my. I'm, I'm sure this wasn't here before. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, Mr. Beasley. We've built you a squirrel house as well as your decking. Well, they both look champion. <laughs> oh, here's that cup of tea, Wendy. Oh, Thank you, Mr. Beasley. Oh, oh, it, it tastes like custard. <laughs> oh, sorry, Wendy. I, I'm always doing that. <laughs> custard powder's right next to the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks anyway. Come on, team. Time to go and pick up Bob. Bye, squirrels. Oh, no, Rolly. You've squashed Mr. Beasley's flowers. Hey, oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Beasley. It's all right, Rolly. You see, my hobby is pressing flowers. I put my most beautiful flowers in this scrapbook and, and then I squash them flat. Would you like to roll over my book and make sure the flowers are extra flat? Oh, yeah, great. We'll drop this rubbish off at the recycling centre on our way home, Mr. Fothergill. Oh, thanks, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Mr. Fothergill. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I like your hat, Mr. Oh, Fothergill. No, it's not a hat, Dizzy. It's Hamish, my parrot. Are you all finished then, Bob? Almost, Wendy. We've just got to take this rubbish to the recycling centre. But I think the boxes might be a bit too big to carry. Oh, that's OK, Bob. Rolly can roll them flat. What do you think, Rolly? Can you squash them? Yes, I can! I like to rock! I like to roll! I like to rock! I like to roll! Hey, that's my song! <laughs> Did you hear that?
on, Dizzy. We haven't picked teams yet. Can I be captain and pick one of the teams, Wendy? OK, Scoop. Yes. I'm going to call my team Scoop's All-Stars. Can I be the other captain? <laughs> OK, Muck. My team's called Muck's Mighty Winners. All right, everyone. Line up to be picked. I'll go first. Um... Wendy! <laughs> I'm one of Scoop's All-Stars! And I'll pick Dizzy! <laughs> Brilliant! Hmm, I think I'll pick Rolly! Yeah! Rock and roll football! Rock and roll football! Oh, I don't think anyone's going to pick me. I want you, Lofty. You're part of my team now. Um, OK then. I'll give it a go. Oh, hey! Here you are, Love Day! Oh, no, don't pass it to me! I'm no good at football! Come on, Love Day! Oh, I think it's gonna hit me! No! Good shot, Lofty! I didn't have a chance of stopping that! Lofty's great! I wish he was on our side! <laughs> Sorry, Scoop, but he's with us! Yeah! Um, I'm one of Muck's mighty winners. Uh, Come on, team! Let's score another goal! Yeah! Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can! Scoop, Muck and Dizzy, and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy, join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together, they get the job done Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can! Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes! Does it, Lofty? Oh, I'll try. What's all this stuff for, Bob? We're going to be working up at the golf club today, building a crazy golf course. Uh, what's a crazy golf course, Wendy? Well, Dizzy, on an ordinary golf course, you just have to hit a ball into a little hole. But in crazy golf, you have to hit your ball through all sorts of crazy obstacles, like this clown's face. Wow, brilliant! Right, we've got everything we need. Uh, Bob? It's a special surprise for the last hole, Dizzy. Ooh. <laughs> what is it, Bob? Well, you have to wait and see. Bob's going to put it together while we go and set up the rest of the course. Come on, everybody. Ready, team? Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Right then, Rolly. It's your job to roll the greens flat. I'm rolling, Wendy. Rock and roll! Beep, beep, beep. Dizzy, we'll get started on the first hole. Right. I'll need my tape measure. Oh. Oh, dear. What's that, Wendy? I've still got the instructions that Bob needs. Oh, I'd better phone and tell him. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hello, Wendy. You've got the instructions. Oh, don't worry about that. Instructions are only for people who don't know what they're doing. I'll be fine. Bye. So, Pilchard, where do you think this piece goes? Wow! <laughs> that should do it, Scoop. Now, Dizzy, I want you to fill the hole with cement. OK, Wendy! Good. And now I want you to run across it. But the cement's still wet, Wendy. That's the idea, Dizzy. If you do it while it's wet, you'll leave tracks. Then the golf balls will run along the tracks to reach the hole. Oh, I see. <laughs> OK, here I come. Hey! 
Oh, that was fun. Oh, can I have another go? <laughs> oh, no, thank you, Dizzy. Once is enough. <laughs> Can we help, Wendy? No thanks, Scoop. Why don't you and Dizzy take a break? Brilliant! <laughs> Come on, Scoop, let's go and play! <sighs> what do you think, Pilchard? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Scoop, look at this! It's a golf ball! Cool. Right, Dizzy. <gasps> Look, Scoop. There's loads more over here. One, two, uh, six, three. <laughs> oh, there's squillions of them. Fantastic. Come on, Dizzy. Let's go on a golf ball hunt. Hooray! Not much more to do now, Pilchard. You know, it's much easier to fix these on from the inside. Only problem is, there's not a lot of room. Hey Bird, this is a great job! It's so easy! Oh no! I can't stop in time! Oh dear, I think I've run over an egg. I can't look. Bird, go and find Wendy. It, Lofty, spot on. <laughs> Hello, Bird. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> is something wrong? I think he's saying that Rowley's in trouble. <laughs> Come on, then, Rock. We better go and see what's happened. <laughs> Rowley, Rowley, are you all right? Oh, Wendy, I think I've run over a bird's egg. Oh dear. Oh, where is it, Rolly? Under here. Oh, it's all right, Rolly. It isn't a bird's egg. <laughs> it's only a golf ball. A golf ball? Oh, oh for you. <laughs> Did someone say golf ball? Can we have it for our collection? Of course you can. Well, now that's sorted out, we better get back and finish the golf course. I'll just check how Bob's doing. Hello, Bob. It's Wendy. I was wondering if you've finished your big surprise yet. My big surprise? Oh, you mean the windmill. It's all gone rather well, actually. I didn't need the instructions after all. Oh, that's great, Bob. I'll just go and fetch Lofty and we'll be down to collect it. Look at that! Bob's made a windmill! Isn't it brilliant? Uh, yeah, but where's Bob? He must be in the office. I know, Pilchard. The windmill does look lovely, doesn't it? Bob! No. Oh, he must have gone out on an urgent job. Oh, I hope he's got his mobile with him. Right. Hello, Bob. Where are you? You're where? <laughs> I'm on my way! What's up, Milchard? Right, Lofty. <laughs> Could you lift up the windmill, please? Um, yeah, I think so. Bob! Um, hello, everybody. <laughs> How did you get in there, Bob? I don't really know, Mock. Everything was going so well, too. <laughs> Never mind, Bob. The windmill looks lovely. <laughs> so, let's get it over to the golf course. OK, higher, higher. Yippee! A windmill! <laughs> Brilliant! 
brilliant. That's good. To me a bit, to me a bit. The windmill looks great, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. You know, I think we should have a game of crazy golf to make sure that everything works properly. Dizzy, can you go and get the golf clubs? OK, Wendy. And you can use some of the golf balls that we found. Bird. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. Well done, Wendy. A hole in one. They get the job done Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Milchard and Bird Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Morning, everyone. Hello. Right then, Scoop, Lofty and Rolly, I've got a special job for you today. We're going to demolish the sports pavilion. Oh, uh, you mean we're going to knock it down? That's right, Lofty. It's getting old and the roof's leaky. So you'll need to use your wrecking ball. Oh, uh, OK. Oh, there you go, Lofty. But be careful, that wrecking ball can be very dangerous if you don't watch what you're doing. Uh, I'll do my best, Wendy. Oh, hello, Bob. <laughs> you're looking very sporty. Phew, yes. I'm doing the sponsored run this afternoon, Wendy. Remember? What's a sponsored run, Bob? Well, people sponsor things to raise money for good causes, Muck. For instance... I say I'll go on a run, and people sponsor me by giving me some money for every mile I run. Oh, I see. Uh, I think. All right, everyone. Let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Bye. Bye. Ah! Hello, Mrs Percival. How are we doing? Well, Wendy, this red line shows how much money we've raised, but there's still a long way to go. So, do you need to raise more money to buy the new sports pavilion? That's right, Scoop. I've got an idea. Maybe we could get people to sponsor us to demolish the old pavilion. Hmm. We could do it this afternoon while Bob's doing his run. That doesn't give us much time to get sponsors. I think I know where I can find a couple of helpers. <laughs> Dizzy, Muck, <laughs> there's a change of plan. How would you like to help Mrs Percival find sponsors? Yeah! <laughs> right then, you three put in some demolition practice while I see how Bob's getting on. Cooey, Bob! Oh, oh uh, <clears throat> hello, Wendy. Just warming up. Got to keep supple. Quite right, Bob. <laughs> 
OK, team, it's exercise time. Hello, Dizzy. Hello, Muck. Oh, and Mrs. Percival. What can I do for you? We're collecting sponsorship money for the new sports pavilion. Oh, yes. A most deserving cause. Yeah, and you know what? It'll be another building for you to inspect. Oh, very good point, Muck. I'm always looking for buildings to inspect. You can count on me. Come on, Lofty. You better practice with your wrecking ball. You don't use it very often. <laughs> oh, no. That's it, Lofty. Well done, Brill. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I think I've got the hang of it. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, no. Oh, oh duck. Oh, no, get out of my cloak. Watch it, Lofty. Oh, Wendy, come quickly. Oh. Take it easy. Oh. Oh. That's it. Oh. Oh, that's all right, Lofty. Oh. oh, but you've got to be more careful. You don't want your wrecking ball to fly off and hit someone. Um, maybe Bob could tighten this up one more time, just to make sure. Of course I can, Lofty. Oh, there. That should do it, Lofty. Oh, oh thanks, Bob. Right then, you three, it's time to go. Bob's got a race to run, and we've got a building to demolish. Here comes Bob now! Hi, everyone! All right, everyone, on your marks! Get set! On, Lofty, you're getting left behind. You better speed up a bit. Uh, um, uh, okay. Oh, 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 Lofty. Oh, we'll never get that untangled. Oh, I'll have to take off your wrecking ball. Here, Scoop, you take the weight. Okay, Wendy. Right. Now, I'll try and unfasten it with the spanner. Oh, oh, it's not here. Oh, Bob must have put it in his pocket. Oh, no. How will we find him? Oh, I know someone who could find Bob. Oh, hello, bird. What's up? This... There's something wrong, isn't there? Boo, boo, boo. You want me to follow you? Okay. Okay then. Oh, lead on. Boo, boo, boo. Good old bird. Oh. I knew he'd find him. Oh, so what seems to be the problem? Oh, it's Lofty Bob. He's got stuck, and we need the spanner to take off his wrecking ball. Oh. Isn't it in the toolbox? Uh, no, Bob, but it might be in your pocket. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, so it is. Hang on, Lofty. We'll soon have you free. Oh. <sighs> OK, Scoop. Lower the ball to the ground. No prop, Bob. Right, Wendy. Now we can get this cable untangled. There you go, Lofty. Oh. Wendy. Right. Well, I'd better get going. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bob should be back by now. I wonder what's keeping him. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. 
Jolly good job, Bob. Well done, Bob. I thought you weren't going to make it. Oh, no problem, Mrs P. It was just that I had to run over to the sports pavilion and back as well. Oh, really? Oh, that's marvellous. Huh? Is it? Oh, yes. Well, you've run twice as far as you were meant to. That means you've raised twice as much sponsorship money. Wow! Hey, brilliant, Bob! Oh. Oh. You're nearly out of time. Come on! You Come can on, go. guys! You That's can do right. it! Five, four, Come on. three, That's right. two, you can do it. one. Oh, oh, that was great. great! Oh, you've made it! <laughs> well done! Yay. Now I've got a little job to do. There, with the money we've raised from the demolition and Bob's run, we've reached our target. Right then, so it looks like we'll be back here again next week. Uh, what is that, Bob? To build the new sports pavilion, of course. Uh, oh, that's great! <laughs> 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 Dog. <laughs> Hello, Farmer Pickles. Were you taking Scruffy for a walk? Oh, we were on our way to the bank. But when Scruffy saw Bob's yard, he got all excited. <laughs> well, Scruffy could stay here while you go to the bank if you like. Oh, Wendy, that's very kind of you. He's got his ball to play with. Oh, he'll be no trouble at all. Will you, Scruffy? <laughs> oh, thanks, Wendy. See you soon. <laughs> Okay, Scruffy, let's play ball. <laughs> Good dog, Scruffy. Pilchard, do you want to play too? Right, Pilchard, this ball is for you. Scruffy, now look what you've done. If you'd let Pilchard have her go, the ball wouldn't be stuck on the roof. Yes, I know you're sorry. Well done, Pilchard. What a clever cat. Oh, hi, Wendy. Thanks for looking after Scruffy. I hope he wasn't too much trouble. Not at all, Farmer Pickles. Look! Well, I never. Scruffy sharing his ball with Pilchard? <laughs> That is a first. They get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. weather we've been enjoying is coming to an end. Heavy rain is forecast for later on this afternoon. Oh dear, Pilchard. Bad weather's on the way. Wow. To the left. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and stretch. Two, three, four. Well, I'm wide awake and ready to go. Hey, Scoop, 
What are we doing today? I'm not sure, Muck, but Bob will be out in a minute to tell us. Oh, yeah. I hope he's got some lifting for me to do. Yeah, I want some fun. Morning, team. Morning, Bob. Oh, oh, morning. How's it going? What are we doing today, Bob? Well, I need you and Lofty to help me repair Farmer Pickle's old barn. Hello, Bob the Builder. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, don't worry. I'll send Muck over to help you get the harvest in. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Hi! Uh, hi! Oh dear, I didn't think the barn would be this bad. Can we finish it by tonight, Bob? We've got to, Scoop. Hello, Farmer Pickles. I've come to help with the harvest. Oh, good. Now we'll get the harvest done in half the time. Uh, there. That should do it. Oh, no! What is it, Bob? This old beam's rotten all the way through. Oh, dear. Uh, that's not good, is it? No, Lofty. We'll have to replace it. What? Now? We've got to, Scoop. If Farmer Pickles puts any hay bales up there, then the floor will collapse with the weight of them. Oh, dear. Uh, that's bad, isn't it? Yes, Lofty. Come on, then. Let's get started. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, well, I think so. <laughs> oh, now for some fun. <laughs> what? I'm sure I put two bales here. What? There's something funny going on here. Spud. I might have guessed. <laughs> I thought I'd help with the harvest, Farmer Pickles. Oh, thanks a bunch. But maybe you can do something really useful, like help me load the hay bales instead of unloading them. Um, uh, oh, uh, oh, I just remembered I saw a lot of birds in the lettuce fields. I'd better get back to work right away. Uh, you know, uh, get back to my proper job, uh, scaring birds like this. Boy, get out of it, bird! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so that's how you scare off the birds. <laughs> Spuds on the job. Okay, Lofty. Can you get your hook in it? Um, oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> Bob. Well done, Lofty. Take it away. Oh. 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 Now, can you hold it, Scoop? Yeah. Yes. Just tell Lofty to get a move on with that new beam. Farmer Pickles, we got the harvest in. Yeah! Well done, you two. But are we going to make it back to the barn before the storm breaks? Up a bit lofty. 
a bit more to me. Got it. Oh, okay, Scoop. You can let go now. Oh, oh phew. New beams as solid as a rock. Oh, dear me. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant, six elephant, seven elephant, eight elephant. Oh! Um, why are you counting elephants, Bob? <laughs> no, no, I'm counting how many seconds there are between the thunder rolling and the lightning flashing. It takes one second to say elephant. There were eight seconds, which means the storm's only eight miles away. Oh, I understand. Well, the barn's ready, but where is Farmer Pickles and the harvest? Probably stuck behind the elephants. No, Scoop. Faster, faster. Oh, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants. Four elephants. Oh! Oh, the elephants are getting closer. We did it! We did! We did! Well done, Muck. Now we really need to get the hay in the barn. Can we load it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh. This is the last one, Bob. That's it, Farmer Pickles. Now that's what I call a fine harvest. That's what I call a fine barn. I can hear the elephants, Bob, but where are they? I expect they're at home packing their trunks. Really? <laughs> no scoop. Not really. I'll explain later. Come on, you lot. Let's go home. the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Oh, you're a slippery cup.
customer, aren't you? Morning, everyone. Oh, hi, hi, Wendy. Hi, hi, Wendy. Where's Bob? He's in the house, Wendy. Talking to someone. It's no use wiggling like that. Oh. Oh. Bob? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, morning, Wendy. I thought it was high time I cleaned out Finn's tank. Only he's not helping, are you, Finn? Oh! <laughs> no, I can see that. Oh, no! Look at the time! You get going, Bob. I'll deal with Finn. See you later. Thanks, Wendy. Well, Duchess, just got to organise a few things in the office and then we'll clean out Finn's tank. Right! Come on, everyone. We've got lots of jobs to do. Way! Muck, I'll need you to help me and Dizzy and Roly. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Um, should I start mixing, Bob? Yes, Dizzy, you do that. Oh, bother. I've forgotten the cement. Mark, go back to the yard and get a couple of those bags of cement, would you? On my way, Bob! And hurry! We've got loads more to do today! Hooray! Come on, Finn! Oh, that's it! Sorry, Wendy. Bob sent me back for some cement and he said to hurry and I did, but I hurried a bit too fast and you won't tell him, will you? Oh, no. Bob would understand. Yes, yes, but I feel silly. <laughs> it could have happened to anyone, Mook. All right. Hmm. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. Now, we'll have to dig this out and we'll need to set a new prop in cement. <gasps> Cement! That's what I came for! See you later, Wendy! And Nice work, Roly. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's flatter than a pancake! <laughs> right, let's go. Next job, the old garage. <coughs> Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Wendy. Yes, of course you can. Bye, then. Dizzy, could you go back and help Wendy? She wants some cement mixing. Good day. Oh, and tell Scoop I need him to help out at the garage. Okay. I wonder what Wendy wants cement for. Right, Lofty. Your turn to do a bit. Oh, uh, is it? I just wanted to pull the old support out of the ground. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. Right. While we're waiting for Dizzy, I think I'll make a nice cup of tea. What's happened? Oh, just a little accident. Still, now you're here, we'll soon have it fixed. 
We need some cement in this hole to hold the new support. Oh, goody. I I've got lots left. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Wendy, uh, Bob wants Scoop to help him at the old garage. Right. Lofty, can you take over from Scoop? Um, yeah, I think so. See you later. Hard work, this. Still, you can help me now, Scoop. No problem, Bob. Wow! Look at that. That must be really old. Hmm. I know. There. Now we just need to screw the roof back down to the new support and wait for the cement to set. Hello? Hello, Bob. Yes? All right. Yes, of course I will. I'll send Lofty. Lofty, could you take this to Bob at the old garage? Uh, uh, I think so, yeah. What's it for? Bob's found the top of a very old petrol pump. He wants a box to put it in to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah I think I can do that. There. All done. Hiya, Lofty. Oh, thanks. This'll do nicely. Come on, you two. It's home time. I hope Wendy's fixed the lean-to. Don't worry. Hello, everyone. Oh, brilliant. Wendy, you've done a great job. A great what? Mug, what's going on? Oh, I had a little accident, Bob. It wasn't his fault, Bob. You see, Bird was being football referee and Muck... Was... I skidded to Miss Bird and bashed the lean too. Sorry, Bob. There's no need to be sorry. You didn't do it on purpose, and Bird's fine. <laughs> and Wendy, our brilliant builder, has fixed it. See? Good as new. Better even. <laughs> oh, Hilchard and Bird. I'd quite forgotten poor Finn. Oh, what a clever cat. And what a clever bird. With all the excitement and the lean-to and everything, I'd forgotten I was cleaning out the fish tank. But Pilchard and Bird have just reminded me. There you go, Finn. All nice and clean again. Thanks to Wendy. Pilchard! You've been such a clever cat. You deserve a special treat for tea. Would you like some fresh fish? <coughs> Pilchard? Lofty, you can do it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Don't 
worry, Lofty. We'll get it down somehow. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Bird says left a little. Left a little, Lofty. Left a little more. That's it. Swing your hook, Lofty. Yay! Hello, you lot. Oh, I was just wondering what all the excitement was about. We were playing soccer, Bob, and the ball went onto the roof. But we all worked together and got it down. Yeah, and we didn't break anything. <laughs> well done, all of you. Come on, then. Let's see if you can get the ball past me. And Rolly too Lofty and Wendy Join the crew Bob and the gang Have so much fun Working together They get the job done Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Bilchard and Bird Travis and Spud Playing together Like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we Bob? It's a flower catalogue, Dizzy. Yippee! <laughs> I love flowers. Um, what do we need flowers for, Bob? Well, Rolly, I've entered us in the brightest building yard competition. It's to find the tidiest, brightest building yard. I'm going to have a big tidy up, get rid of all the rubbish and decorate the yard with flowers. <laughs> in fact, I'd better get a move on. I'd forgotten it was today. The judges are coming at five o'clock. Right, team. Muck will stay and help Bob tidy the yard, and I'll come with the rest of you to get the football pitch ready for tonight's big match. Ready? Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I think so. Then let's go! Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Rolly, your job is to make sure this field is really flat. Oh, yeah, Wendy! Rock and roll! Now, Scoop, have you got the... The paint, Wendy. Here it is. <laughs> no wonder Bob says you're the best team a builder ever had. Oh! That's great. I'll arrange for everything to be collected. Thanks. Bye. Right, Muck, could you go to the garden centre and pick up the plants I've ordered? I'm on my way, Bob. It's not going to be easy, Pilchard, but we might just get the yard ready by five o'clock after all. Oh, good. Rock and roll! Thanks, Scoop. Here we go! Oh, oh, come on, Lofty. Let's kick the ball around. Oh, oh, kick a ball. Oh, oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. I'll play. Oh, free spot. <laughs> Yippee! Watch this, Dizzy. Where did that come from? Uh, Wendy, look! Oh, no! <laughs> Time to go! Spud, did you kick that ball? Great kick, eh, Wendy? Oh, really high! Spud.
but... Oh, sorry, Wendy. Uh, I didn't mean to mess up your line. Uh, I was just showing Dizzy some football tricks. Well, now you can fetch a bucket and mop and show Dizzy your cleaning up tricks. Spud's on the job, Bob. Uh, I mean, Wendy. Huh? Sorry, Pilchard. I need to stand there to fix a bracket for the hanging baskets. <coughs> Thank you, Pilchard. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Thank you, Pilchard. I'm sure you can find a sunny spot somewhere else. <coughs> <coughs> I hope Muck gets back from the garden centre soon. Or the yard won't be ready in time. Here I am, Bob. Oh, well done, Muck. Right, let's get these plants unloaded, then we can get rid of the rubbish. Bye. Pilchard. <coughs> oh, no. Muck, come back. Oh, what's wrong, Bob? You scooped Pilchard up with the rubbish. Oh. Wow! Oh, sorry, Pilchard. I didn't realise you were there. Wow! Oh, no. More cleaning up to do. I'll never get the yard ready at this rate. I hope Wendy's having more luck than me. Oh. I'll just put that there like that. Off we go, then, Lofty. <laughs> There. Only one more hanging basket to go, and the yard will be ready. Boop, 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 boop. Huh? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I know it makes a lovely nest, bird, but you're making the flowers look untidy. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, bird! Oh. Finished. And with time to spare. <laughs> what a team. Can we play a game now, Wendy? Please? Well, uh, the judges aren't due at the yard until five. I think we've got time. Yippee! Ah. There. Back to how they should look. Right. Now I'd better tidy myself up. Ah. Oh. We've got visitors. Hmm? <gasps> oh no! The judges are here! Watch this, Dizzy! Wendy, oh, really oh, high. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> oh, but we really ought to get back to the yard. It's almost five o'clock. Hi, Bob. Great job, Bob. Bird, get out of there before the judges arrive. It's too late for that, Wendy. The judges arrived early and they've already gone. What? Really? Well, what did they say? Oh, oh, Bob, 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 they had a really good look round and... We won! 
first prize in the brightest building yard competition. Yay! Yay! I knew it! I knew it! I could tell by the look in his eyes. I knew that. Oh, Bob! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well done. The yard looks really clean, Bob. <laughs> but but you're all dirty. <laughs> you're right there, Dizzy. Lucky for you, Bob, it wasn't a brightest builder competition. Oh, Wendy. They get the job done Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Pilchard and Bird Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we Out. This is a builder's yard, not a tennis court. Morning, Bob. Morning. Morning, team. Hi, Hi Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> Hello. You should see the new tennis court, Wendy. Mark and I dug out the base for it yesterday. And then we filled it with hardcore. And then I rolled it flat and smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Bob says I'm going to make a special green mix today. That's right, Dizzy. We're going to use a special mix to give the surface a nice spring. Uh, why, Wendy? So that the balls will bounce properly. Oh, uh, I see. Well, we'd better get a move on. Ready, Dizzy? Roll it? Yeah! yeah! Let's rock and roll it! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Bye, Bye, Wendy! Bye, Bye now! <laughs> Hiya, Travis. What have you got there? It's a net for the new tennis court. Farmer Pickles asked me to deliver it to Wendy. Oh, nothing to eat then, Travis. I'm starving. No spud. Sorry. Oh, I think I'll come with you. Maybe Wendy's got some yummy sandwiches. Nice having a green mixture. <laughs> yes, makes a change. Oh, can we try different colours with every job, Wendy? I mean, we could have blue, purple and yellow cement. <laughs> oh, <laughs> isn't it lovely? Oh, yeah, lovely. Just lovely. <laughs> Oh, that's a perfect job, Rolly. Uh, yeah? Oh, thanks. Now, while that's drying, we'll go back to the yard and pick up the wire fencing. Uh, and I'll need Scoop to help me put it up. Let's go! Oh, I'm hungry. Where 
Where's Wendy? Farmer Pickle said she'd be here. Maybe she's gone back to the yard for some sandwiches. Oh dear, I hope she comes back soon. I promised Farmer Pickles I'd deliver the net, then go straight back home. Ah, I know. I'll unload the net for Wendy. She'll be so pleased she's bound to give me some sandwiches, maybe even a slice of cake. Oh, but Spud, the net's very heavy. No problem. Spud's on the job. Spud? Oh dear. Oh, silly, silly, silly. It's still wet. Oh, what are we going to do, Spud? Wendy will be so upset. Everybody will be cross. Don't worry, Travis. Spud's got an idea. We'll cover it up. Oh, hi, Bob. Just came back for the wire fencing. Oh, that's quick work, Wendy. <laughs> I've got a good team, Bob. <laughs> the best. Ah, there. No one will notice. Ah, uh, Spud. It's very lumpy. Ah, we can smooth it. Roly smooths wet cement when he rolls over it. Come on, Travis, move it. Come on, move it. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Move it, Travis. Move it before Wendy comes back. Oh, oh all right. Here goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, Wendy. Sorry, Wendy. We didn't know it was wet. My lovely smooth tennis court. I, I was just trying to make it smooth again, Wendy. Oh, well, we'll just have to resurface the court. Hello, Bob. It's me. Oh, hi, Wendy. How's the tennis court going? Oh, um, fine, Bob. But I just need you to send Dizzy and Rolly back here. Oh? Why? I'll explain later. OK, Wendy. They're on their way. Thanks, Bob. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. We got there in the end. Yeah! No worries! Um, uh, can I help, Wendy? Yes, bud. Don't touch anything. Oh. Oh, Wendy. Well done. Thanks, Bob. I'll give you a hand with the scoreboard. Right. One tennis court ready for action. Um... Do you want to play, Wendy? Oh, yes, Bob. Oh, but we don't have any rackets. But I think we have. Muck? I've got them, Wendy. Oh, good. <gasps> oh! oh.
Bob. Oh, thank you, Wendy. You're a good player. You beat me fair and square. Oh, I think I've got tennis knee. <laughs> oh, phew. I'm thirsty. Well, I've brought some lemonade, Wendy. And a cake for the winner. Oh, good. Did you say a cake for the winner? Anyone for tennis? Whoopee! <laughs> 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 <laughs>